James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying a really classy looking Burberry tie. Uh, this particular tie was actually made in England. A lot of their ties are made in Italy, but they do have, I think, some of their older collections are there. I've had this tie for a little while, and I just absolutely love this tie. It's such a classic look. It's like an off-white, almost a, um, not quite beige, more of an off-white, uh, kind of an egg-colored uh, tie with light blue diagonal stripes. And I just think it's a really elegant, classy design. If you know anything about me, I love diagonal stripe ties that are fairly wide. And I'm pairing that today with a light blue shirt, about about the same color as the stripes. And we're going to be pulling it together with a gray suit today. As far as the review goes, uh, Burberry, of course, makes good products. We've talked about it before. Uh, Silk Live is really nice. This is a medium, uh, not, not really thick. It's kind of a medium thin tie. Very nice, smooth silk. Um, feels a lot like a Zinnia. Uh, Zinnia is maybe a tiny bit softer. This is a little bit smoother, almost between a Ferragamo and a Zinnia as far as feel goes. So let's tie this up and see how it comes together. Um, I just do love the look of this tie though, and excited to tie it. I had it for a while, tied it a few times, but this is the first time tying it on video, and I haven't worn this tie in probably a year because I, I have a pretty big collection. So. I, Go through my ties usually about once a year or so. Um, I'm going to start right here as a starting point because I know uh, even though it's not a super thick, uh, it is a wider tie, so it's going to have a little bit of uh, width there. Coming close here, we're going to take the long part of the tie over top of the short part, up and through. Then we go around behind, keeping everything nice and tight, and we go up, over, down, and through. Now I call this the checkpoint. This is where we want to just take and make sure our knot's coming together, which it's coming here real nice. Then we come around the front, and when I, you, you hear me on my videos talk about a little pocket. This is the pocket right here I'm creating, right here, okay? We come around front, behind, up, over, and through, and then we go down through that pocket that I was just showing you, okay? We're going to go down through that pocket, pull it down through. Now we make our final adjustments. We're going to kind of tuck the corners down, hold on to the knot and pull in the long part. That tightens the knot. Watch how tight this knot gets here. See that? And then we hold the knot and we pull on the shorter part of the tie to bring it up to our neck. And then we want to check for our distance. So we want the tip of the tie to come between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. It looks like I may have actually tied this a little bit too long because it's coming all the way down the bottom. Now, me being a perfectionist, some guys would be fine with that. I'm a perfectionist. So I'm going to retie this tie. We're just going to tie it a little bit quicker. And my phone, I forgot to put on vibrate. So if you hear my phone, it's in uh, the other room there going off. And so I apologize for that. But I try to do these videos in one take. I don't, I'm not, don't, I don't have fancy software to like cut and all that. I don't even know what you call it crap. But, Let's try this now. I went a little bit shorter on it, so we're just going to tie it a little quicker because you've already seen me tie the tie. I've already went through the steps with you. But you can see even the tie guy makes mistakes, and that's because I haven't worn this particular tie in about a year. So I wasn't sure where to start. But you see me doing the right thing. I want to tie it until I get it right. One of my videos, I end up tying the tie three times. And you know what? It's okay. I would rather take an extra couple minutes and tie the tie right than to have a tie that looks wrong. Now, we've got a tie coming just to the top, so let me tighten this knot up a little bit here. We're going to hold on to knot and pull on the long part. We're going to tighten this up, get us a little more slack. And now let's see where we're at. Now we're absolutely perfect. Ties about halfway down the belt buckle. It's where we want it to be. Pull the collar down and see how this all comes together. Once you pull the collar down, you want to do your final adjustments. You want to take it, this part, the short part of the tie, and tighten your knot up to, to your neck. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Such a pretty tie. I like you, tie. I like you a lot. Maybe I'll kiss the tie. Mm, I just kissed on camera. There you go. That's for all the haters out there. <laughs> all right, so we don't want much gap here. We want it to be symmetrical. Look at that perfect triangle right in the middle there. So the look is going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen, but I'm going to go over it with you right now. And we are putting on a charcoal gray, a Myrna Gildo Zinnia suit. Uh, most of my suits are Zinnia. Um, they make just a great product. Uh, there are other great suits out there as well. I just happen to have more Zinnia in my wardrobe. But uh, a Myrna, Myrna Gildo Zinnia suit, charcoal gray. We're in a light blue Brooks Brothers shirt. We're uh, wearing a Burberry tie. It's kind of an off-white with light blue stripes. We are wearing cufflinks today. You probably saw them in the video there. I've got a pair of Ferragamo cufflinks, and they match my belt buckle. We're wearing a, a dressy black shiny Ferragamo leather belt with silver Ferragamo, this is again Cini logo as a belt buckle, and again it just matches the cufflinks. I like the way they all come together there because we've got literally the belt buckle and the cufflinks are, are almost identical. And today we're pairing that with a really sexy pair of black Christian Louboutin um, shoes, Oxfords or Oxfords. 
on my Instagram, Ty Guy James Acres. You'll see close-ups of the shoes, the belt buckle, and the cuff links. You'll also see close-ups of the knot, close-ups of the tie, selfies of me wearing it all. It all comes together on my Instagram, Ty Guy James Acres. If you like my videos, please click uh, subscribe and like. But I am ready for work.